Kid, thanks very much. There's new information today about the violent threats made against a local high school. Good evening, everybody. Two new Miami high school students accused of making Facebook threats face a Butler County Juvenile Court judge today. Deputies arrested the 14 and 15 year old girls from St. Clair Township last week. Local 12's Larry Davis has the new fallout from the incident. Hi, Cammie. Well, one attorney says this incident is not as serious as it is perceived. But the judge did not think that was necessarily the case. She thinks it's serious enough to keep the girls locked up through Thanksgiving while they undergo a psychiatric evaluation. Wearing leg irons, the 14 and 15 year old girls made their way into a Butler County juvenile courtroom. This was the second court appearance for the 15 year old, the first for the 14 year old. Judge Kathleen Romans told them what they are accused of doing. You posted on Facebook that you were going on a killing spree, bang, bang, bang. Now that is what is contained in the complaint. Do you understand that? Both new Miami high school students were arrested last month for the Facebook posting. In addition to mentioning a shooting spree, they expressed a dislike for the school and the people there. Sheriff's investigators say that no weapons were found at their homes. Both girls clutched tissues and wiped away tears as the judge explained the maximum punishment option. That if you are found to be a delinquent child in this court, that you could be sentenced to the Department of Youth Services on felony two for a minimum term of 12 months, maximum up to your 21st birthday. Defense attorneys requested the girls be released to their families. One telling the judge the case is not as serious as it is perceived. The judge denied the request, citing the need for more information. She ordered both girls to undergo psychiatric testing. They would remain in detention through the Thanksgiving holiday. The 15-year-old, distraught, reached to hug her mother, but was kept back by court security. I'm sure we can all imagine, though, how we would feel if we kept away from our families for the holidays. And Cammie, uh, both girls have spent 12 days now in the Butler County Juvenile Detention Center. Both girls and their families obviously distraught today. They were hoping to be released uh, to, in order to go home. But the judge says she needed some more information before she would even consider a possible release. Now, based on those uh, Facebook allegations, those postings, the girls both face charges of inducing panic and making terroristic threats. Live in Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. All right, Larry, thank you. And once the psychiatric evaluation is complete, the girls are set to appear in court again on December 3rd.